Now considered a recovery mission. According to his uncle, the 25-year-old man from Nicaragua entered the water around 2 a.m. and never came out. Sources familiar with such things say the current was intense at that time. The NYPD, the Coast Guard, and the Fire Department are all participating in the search, including dive teams. Deja vu on the Upper West Side, where a convenience store was held up for the second time in just a few days, and this time, someone was shot. This 29-year-old Good Samaritan shot in his foot, so he's trying to stop this robbery at 4.20 in the morning inside the store, the Lincoln Convenience Smoke Shop. Four suspects got away. It's the very same store that was robbed at gunpoint 6.30 Friday morning, so just days ago. Resident Eric Zivitz came by Friday and saw that. Back here, shaking his head. I can't blame the mayor. He just got here. But uh, it's scary. I mean, I'm not leaving this city, but there are plenty of people, that, especially kids, that have been frustrated leaving the city. I don't know what the answer is. Police were viewing multiple surveillance cameras from inside the store, hoping to make a quick arrest. One shot, 1010 wins, 71st and Broadway. After a rough weekend for flyers, the airlines are struggling again today. At last check, FlightAware counted 530 flight cancellations in the United States after 950 yesterday, and many more flights have been delayed. Locally, LaGuardia reporting 31 cancellations, JFK 10, Newark 74. New York City is back with a new take on its plans for composting organic waste. Sanitation Commissioner Jessica Tish put it most succinctly. Let's close down the rat buffet by getting food out of the black bag. Instead, folks will put food waste into covered bins supplied by the city for free. And the waste will be picked up once a week starting October 3rd, along with garden refuse. Mayor Adams says this one will succeed after other programs fail. Uh, there's no sign of me quiet. This is a no frill way of just getting it done. The city chose Queens because it supplies a quarter of New York's organic waste, and the program may be expanded to other boroughs. Roger Stern, 1010 wins with the mayor in Flushing Meadows, Corona Park. It's been a Staten Island staple for 80 years, but Nunzio's Pizzeria on Highland Boulevard will be closing at the end of this week. Owner Robert Whiteacre tells 1010 wins COVID affected people's habits and he can't find help. He's been working in the family business since he was 13. Might he open another pizza shop one day? We'll never know what's going to happen. I know we're going to go to a little place. I don't know yet. It's a new works. I'm thinking about it. He says the new owner is going to turn the property into a showroom for a cabinet factory. The so-named Inflation Reduction Bill has cleared its biggest hurdle, the Senate, and now it's just a matter of time before it becomes law. The bill includes more than $300 billion in tax incentives to help Americans buy electric vehicles and solar panels. And for seniors on Medicare, it puts in place a new $2,000 a year cap on out-of-pocket expenses for prescription drugs. That's a big deal. Thank you for the President Biden calls it a game changer. The bill, which also aims to ensure corporations pay no less than a 15% tax rate, heads next to the House, where it's expected to pass as soon as Friday. Correspondent Stephen Portnoy. China says it's extending its military exercises around Taiwan. They surrounded the island and disrupted shipping and air traffic. At Dover Air Force Base today, President Biden was asked if this worries him. I am uh, I'm not worried, but I'm concerned that they're moving as much as they are. But I don't think they're going to do it anymore. China launched these military games after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan. China claims ownership of Taiwan. China's leader, Xi Jinping, has been focusing on bringing the democracy under control of the mainland. The two sides split in 1949 after a civil war. When foreign officials visit Taiwan, China regards that as recognizing the island's sovereignty. Europe has been struggling with heat waves and drought this summer. Italy's River Po has been running low. And the lower water level revealed a bomb from World War II. The Italian army says it was made in America and contained more than 500 pounds of explosives. Military experts defused it before carrying out a control detonation yesterday in a quarry. The bomb was found by fishermen on the banks of the river. 
Brown, he says about 3,000 people living nearby were evacuated as a precaution before the bomb was removed. River traffic was shut down along with the airspace on nearby roads and rails. You've heard the argument that arming teachers would help keep school children safe. One county in North Carolina is taking school defense a step further, fighting firepower with firepower. AR-15 style rifles have been used in numerous school shootings. Now each of the six schools in Madison County will be stocked with them for school resource officers to use in the event of a shooting. It's a controversial decision. I thought it was a joke. Dr. Dorothy Espelage at UNC Chapel Hill School of Education says she thinks it's a bad idea. It's what we call hardening in the schools, and it's what's going to happen is that we're going to have accidents with these guns. Officials say the guns will be kept in locked safes. Mark Emillard, ABC News. Now this message. Rapelson Levine Law provides accident victims hope. For a free consult, visit rllawyers.com today. It's new sign 209. Today on Hey Culligan, soft water, cleaner environment. What do you say, Greg? Hey Culligan, are you saying if I have a Culligan high efficiency water softener, I'm also helping the environment? It sounds like you're saying it, Greg, and yes you are, because with the Culligan high efficiency water softener, you'll use less detergent, soap, and harsh chemicals, and that's good for the planet. Now you're saying it. You bet I am, Greg. Soft water and a cleaner environment is already on the way. Let us help you out with a free in-home water test from the local Culligan water expert at Culligan.com. You know what a booster shot can be like? Charging a cell phone. Just like a cell phone charger helps restore your battery, a booster is given after a primary series vaccination to enhance or restore protection against COVID-19, which wanes over time. Boosters are recommended for people five years and older. Schedule a booster appointment as soon as eligible. You can even make the appointment on your phone, as long as it's charged. Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. Do you have bad credit but need a new car? Call Credit Solutions, a division of Hudson Hyundai. It's easy to apply right over the phone. Call 800-951-4221. Hudson Hyundai has over 425 vehicles available. Stop hunting and start driving a new Hyundai today. Tier 1 customers can drive a new Hyundai Tucson, Santa Fe, Palisade, or even the all-new fully electric Ionic 5 with only $68 down. That's just $68 down on over 425 cars, trucks, and SUVs available. Call 1-800-951-4221. That's 800-951-4221. And all-new 